I stood on the dock three days before my stopwatch began to measure another year. I was the only soul left on the mainland of my country because the last war had killed off the rest. The water was quieter than death, and all of the cockroaches had migrated to where the equator bulges out towards the sun. But it didn't take long for me to find the bobbing puffs of smoke on the horizon line. They looked like a rowdy chorus of super balls and smelled like the smokestacks in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Then I saw their source. It was an ocean liner assigned to the task of carrying voyagers oblivious to the perils of our time. If this vessel is a ship of fools, what will I do when it anchors at the shoreline? I promise to remain on land and sift through the stones and bones because I know there is life buried in the debris.